For those of you that have been waiting to get in and buy a graphics card, do you think your time's going to be nigh really soon? There's a lot of stuff that's happening with the economy and crypto and all of it's coming together to make a great buying opportunity if you've been waiting to try to buy one of these graphics cards on a deep discount. I think you're going to have your opportunity real soon and we're going to talk about it. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech Vibe. Today we're going to be talking about the flood of GPUs that is coming very soon to the secondary market, guys. Now, if you're one of those people that have been wanting to get a GPU, you've been kind of hesitant, you've been looking for some good prices, guys, okay, so I've got to tell you, I would be on the lookout because there's going to be a big flood of graphics cards that are going to be hitting the market very soon and we're going to be talking today why that is now we have covered a lot of the msrp and availability and those have continued to improve even in this excel sheet i have here we can see the prices that have continued to fall from august now to september and these prices are certainly prices that people would have been foaming at the mouth for if we were talking a year and a half ago and availability forget about it but guys things are changing times are changing here and there's a couple of different reasons for that now you can see like even these things are going below msrp that they were 3090 was 1499 for uh a uh for a founder's edition model now you can get them for 1050 new that's crazy i know but i wouldn't get on the horn just yet and try to buy these because i believe we're going to see even better prices very soon and that's because well of ethereum 2.0 now this is a cryptocurrency if you guys are not familiar with it and pretty much this is it, there's not much debate to be had about this i've been saying it for a long time cryptocurrency specifically ethereum was a big 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 part of the price gouging and all of the price hikes that we saw in graphics cards just this past year with this edition here. And you know, the same thing happened back in 2017, 2018, when mining uh, cryptocurrency was a big deal. Now, Ethereum has been the lead thing that people have gone to for mining Ethereum and they've used graphics cards and the 3000 series were actually pretty good at this. This is why we saw a lot of these these graphics cards being non-existent and we talked plenty about it on this channel where Nvidia was selling these pallets of graphics cards to big minor companies and just basically throwing the middle finger up to you guys and i've had plenty of people try to argue with me about it tell me it's not because of mining it's because of shortage no guys they're no it's bs this is why and you're seeing it come full circle here guys the the prices that you guys are seeing here now is because well to simply put it nvidia does not want to sell you guys the new stuff until they get rid of more stock of the 3000 series and that's just plain as it's as plain as it gets and you can see it here in the pricing because they know that the secondary market is about to get ridiculous because ethereum 2.0 like i said the cryptocurrency ethereum lead mine currency is coming to a close it is no longer going to be proof of work which is what allowed these miners to actually farm uh the these graphics cards to run them all day long and get pieces of ethereum this is they would make money off of this ridiculous money and it was very profitable it's not so much anymore and it's going to be shut off completely they will no longer be able to mine ethereum whenever this merge happens and guys we are uh currently as of making this video right now we are one day and eight hours away from this merge happening now when this merge happens they will no longer be able to use these graphics cards so these people that spent hundreds of thousands of dollars buying graphics cards well they're pretty much going to be useless now because well they're not going to be able to mine ethereum now there are talks in the background of people uh trying to fork ethereum and basically what that means is they're going to take the current ethereum the proof of work system that they have now and try to 
create a copy cryptocurrency so people that are miners can continue to mine ethereum will that work out i wouldn't even entertain it it might make money for a little bit but it's not going to be the big droves of people flocking to this thing to mine this currency like it's been so when this merge happens it's going to go from proof of work to proof of stake invalidating these graphics cards and the use for them so what that's going to do is send a flood of equipment onto the market because these people that have bought these graphics cards for the simple for the loan uh, purpose of mining cryptocurrency they're not going to be able to make a big profit like they were before there are other currency currencies that can be mined are they going to probably not 90 percent of all the mining that happens was for ethereum i don't see a big switch to some other currency because well simply it's not going to have the market cap and uh the profitability margins to make it happen so guys it, it's not something that you even need to consider if anyone tries to tell you different i'm sure i'm going to get somebody in the comments trying to tell me different but it's not happening i'm sorry it isn't so what's going to happen is a big drove of graphics cards is going to be hitting the secondary market very soon and you will be able to most likely pick up a lot of these graphics cards on the very cheap so if you're looking to build a computer and don't want the very top best and brightest whatever you're going to have a great opportunity to buy some really cheap graphics cards very soon and if you're one of those people that like to build computers and flip them, whatever, you're probably going to have a great time, too. I might do some of that myself, just get some builds going for the channel. But aside that, that's coming on. Another thing that you're probably going to see, uh, as long with the, these droves of graphics cards coming in, are these prices continuing to fall. We were supposed to get the 4000 series GPUs coming this year. It was supposed to happen this summer, then it was supposed to happen this fall, and now guys, it's not going to be happening at all until next year. And the reason for that is because Nvidia is not going to sell these new GPUs until they get rid of more of this stock. They were over producing and trying to keep up with demand and now the demand is not there and it's not going to be there as it was because miners were out buying any of the gamers out there and so now they're not going to put out their new stuff because they want to sell their old stuff before they start selling their new stuff this is why you're seeing these big price drops offs and i believe that we could see even further for the new ones to come down even more I don't know how far it'll go, but this is what I believe to be happening. Now, this is me talking, uh, theorizing here at the moment, but that's the only thing that makes sense from a supply and demand stance. People are gonna go for the much cheaper secondary ones uh, that have been mined on for a little bit if they can get them at a great discount. So in order to keep up and compete, Nvidia is going to be having to drop their prices. It's not looking good all around because the economy is not in great shape our cpi is showing that we are not dropping the way that we expected so recessions here it is it's not looking good so this is what i'm expecting to see with the current generation of graphics cards so if you are in the market and looking to buy i would give it a week or two maybe even a whole month before i started to try and jump in and actually buy this will give the market enough time to try to show a, a true price here there's going to be a lot of different undercutters trying to sell theirs before the other so this will give it more time to kind of let people list it as low as possible it's going to happen it happens when you're dealing with anybody trying to sell a lot of different things people want their stuff bought first it's just how it goes and this will give the uh retail uh a chance to reflect their prices because they're going to be wanting to sell as well so they're going to want to try to stay competitive so just it whether you're looking new or used give it a little bit of time let those prices reflect this influx of inventory that's going to become because supply is going to just it far exceed demand and they're going to have no choice but to drop prices even further guys i hope this video was helpful if you do have any other questions feel free to ask and do my best to help out on this channel if not well hey we'll catch you in the next one see ya